A175. Well, hey there. Welcome to more of this as the police. Five more days. It is encroaching. Iconic fashion designer Vincenzo Castaldo in a sane asylum. Eh, that's something. Teacher, today's students are hopeless. Eh, maybe just a bad teacher. Kooky designer clothing collection found at dump. Was it this guy's? Who knows? Either way. City Hall likes me, so let's go to work. There you go. Wolf didn't show for work. My brother went hiking and disappeared. Can I get, take the day off? Yes. Two tiger walks straight. Can I go home? Yes. Pipes busted. Yes, you may go. I need to take the car to the shop. Can you spare me today? Yes, I can. See, that's how we do it. Gonna start the day. Eh, I don't really feel like listening to music anymore. I don't know. This is something. There's my share. Gallery director Tamara Edelstein. Okay, I, I can't see behind her. Detectives. Quite a lot of you. You know what, I, I think the very first thing that we should do is just fire that one person. It was... Wolf, I believe. Yep, just didn't show up for work. Everyone else, I can't really fire them. I can't, I'm not gonna fire you because you're too old. And Megadopolis, I allowed you to. Cecil, I also allowed you to. I mean, firing the, or blowing them out of the day off and then firing them is just a bullshit thing. Yeah, they're all good. Okay, I just need one more cop on shift A. Glenn Gage, Handler, Iwase, Brody Pope, Ling Fang. Yeah, Ling Fang. Okay, and when it comes to detectives, let's see now, we got four right there, another eight, eleven. Eleven on shift A. 5, 10, 13, yep. So two more on shift A is needed. You and you. Although Harry Hall looks like someone that was a part of that other case that, got, that I got rid of, but eh. Museum of Feeling, oh god, I forgot. Detectives. Casey and Coleman, there we go. Museum of Feelings, you two go talk to the gallery lady. I can't do this until I have everyone set up. Labor market. I'm not I'm not getting the old guy. I'm not. I'm sorry. At least everyone has triple digits. Although McDuck, I mean, you gotta have some better stuff. Our counterfeiting residential area. We receive an anonymous tip. Some criminals have set up a counterfeiting printing operation on the top floor of an apartment house. Our sources allege that they are armed guards here around the clock. Adam, Kazumi, Murata, Trevor, Castile, Mun, and McDuck, and Swat. There you go. Ooh, assault report. Personally, I think our gallery's building is the jewel of the city, but not everyone shares my feelings. The other day, we were visited by the Mayor Rogers' people. They brought in a huge amount of building materials and ho uh, hoisted them up on the roof. Now it's impossible to get up there. I called Rogers personally, but the mayor said that while the gallery is living off money from the city, I don't have a say in the matter. The building materials are from the mayor's nephew, a student architect. He wants to build some sort of observation deck right on the roof of the gallery, from which you can look into the future of modern art. What an awful sense of taste that man has. Hmm. All this information. And finishing up the abduction case soon. These guys are coming back. Nothing else in the archives. So we're pretty good. Pretty darn good. The detective should be back. And they are. Now I just gotta find them in this myriad of people. Coleman and Casey. There we go. 
Yeah. There we go. Oh, uh, you need backup? No, you're fine. Counterfeiting taken care of. Everything's good. Fight in the suburbs. A fight broke out at Mrs. Mirren's weekly book club meeting. What the hell? That's a vicious book club. Two men are wrestling on the floor. One of them is beating the other with a thick Dostovsky volume shouting. Uh, Fyodor uh, Mikhailovich invented extreme existentialism long before your stinking Sartre. Pardon me, but what about Frederick Schelling? Use pepper spray, grab a volume prost from the shelf, and attack. Use pepper spray. We're just gonna put none of that, none of that, sir. <laughs> Noise complaint. Elderly male said he heard a crowd outside his apartment, people stomping around loudly, along with the occasional noises that sound like goddamn gunshots. Adams, Kozumi, Murata, Trapper, Take Daniels, and McDuck, and Paddywagon. That ought to work. People in the neighborhood apartment were just celebrating the bar mitzvah of Abraham Oppenheim. Ah, that's nice. Reckless driving, Route 22. A patrol car was chasing a speeding vehicle through the city. The suspect refused to stop despite numerous demands. During the chase, a police car was pushed off the road and was unable to continue the pursuit. Don't worry, we've got this. Scots, there we go. That'll work. Today we're celebrating Children's Day. We need to take some bags of toys and crayons to the children's shelter right away. There's some journalists there, and we need to, uh, you to say a few words about how much the city cares and the incredible support everyone's getting, blah, blah, blah. Those are your lines. Now get moving. <laughs> Quatch. Go. Alright, abduction report. Yeah. Okay. So, with the kidnappers, there's the thing. They come in tracksuits, chloroformed, tickets grabbed, go. Peter Murphy, longtime member of a racist gang, Murphy believes that blacks take jobs away from whites and wants to solve the problem once and for all by eliminating all the black children in Freeburg. Mm -mm. Nope. Jim Collins, faithful friend of Peter Murphy, he obeys Murphy's orders and hopes to become a member of his racist gang once he has completed a few assignments. Again, nope. Just big old nope. Peter Murphy is a real football fan. He never misses a local match. Reckless driving. Taken care of. And Jim Collins has been summoned by his son's school. The boy has gotten himself into trouble. This looks like it's going to be two of these things done, so there. This will be the first one that's taken care of, this, the stooge. And then I'll have to take care of the other one, probably. Quatch is gone for the rest of the day, but that's okay. We'll see about this. I think it is that case. So, 2150, here it comes, I think. Yep. Abduction report. Fender caught. We'll probably have to deal with the next one in the next one. So, end the day. We'll get them. Don't worry. There you go. Teams here safely. We'll take care of those abduction cases and then hopefully start up the next one soon. I'm going to end it right here and just say, hey, thanks so much for dealing with this or, <laughs> or watching this at the police. I don't know why I'm saying dealing with. Have a good one and see you later.